Hi you guys, um, so today is not going to be a very happy video. You probably clearly saw by the title of this video, um, Patch sadly passed away. Probably not going to talk as much um, throughout this video today just because I really don't feel like getting upset on camera. Before I start his tribute part of the video, I just wanted to talk about a few things. So on February 25th during the day at some point, I went in to check on the hamsters. Now you guys usually know that um, when I start to like even touch Patch's bedding or anything like that, he'll just automatically automatically um, wake up and come out to say hi and that sadly didn't happen on that day and I thought well maybe he's just sleeping so I wasn't gonna like bother him too much but I did like want to check on him so I just kind of looked under his or tried to find out where he was sleeping so I just went ahead and checked under a couple of Heidi's where I thought he would he might be sleeping sure enough he was peacefully laying there and not moving obviously I know that it is expected and I knew that it was going to happen at some point I knew that it was you know we were coming closer to that point again I'm not like a hundred percent sure on exactly how old, how old he was but since his passing he was probably either getting close to two years old or right at the two year old mark I'm not you know a hundred percent sure when I did first adopt him I already knew I was adopting an older hamster already so he was probably already um, either close to a year old or over the year mark and then I had him for almost 11 months I think it was almost 11 months it was getting closer to a full year like I had like one more month ago and we would have had him for a year yeah it was really upsetting because I um do think that I had a real close bond with him and um I don't know he's just my little patchy poo <laughs> even though uh he is now you know not with us anymore um, I'm really happy and I was very fortunate enough to be able to give him a good home and I really do hope that he had a happy little life with us. I'm not going to show his cleaned out cage at the moment obviously because that's just like totally unnecessary but um, I did clean out his cage already and um, disinfected everything. I'm not I'm not going to be like moving hamsters around or anything like that. I'm sure at some point I will get another hamster. But I am definitely going to need a little bit of time so I hope that you guys can um, understand that. So I'm going to stop talking now before I get upset again and um, yeah I just kind of wanted to keep you guys updated on what had happened happen. Thank you to everyone for all of your sweet and kind words, um, either on my Twitter or my Instagram post. I did read through every single comment that you guys left me and um, it did make me feel better. So thank you so much for that. But yeah, I hope you guys will enjoy his little tribute video. Obviously, it's not intended to like upset anyone. Um, I just really wanted to throw a couple of clips together in dedication to him. I love you guys so, so much and I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Love you. Bye. Okay, if I film. Oh, okay. okay, okay. Oh, he's so cute. Okay, so here he is. Um, I didn't film him, you know, when I got home, just because um, I wanted to get him in the cage, you know, properly. 